This is the Wedge Bunker Base, designed for a starter or even a solo or small group. This is a cheap bunker base. It's a 10 satchel raid all the way around. No BPs, no metal fragments. You can do this on the rib. You can do this in the first 20 minutes of the wipe. And this can start off as this, being your remote farming base. And this can be expanded all the way up into something like this. Again, very manageable. Not only cheap to build, but the upkeep is ridiculously cheap as well. We'll go ahead and show you this real quick. This is the wedge bunker base, the core here, and we'll show you the upkeep here. You're looking at one tree, half of a tree, and half of a stone node. So really, if you farm a tree and a stone node, you've got two days worth of upkeep. Beautiful. Again, no metal in here whatsoever. Completely locked off. And then if you upgrade it to the expanded version, again, you can do this in multiple phases or stages. Uh, we're going to show you what this looks like, and this is a lot more uh, defense. You're looking at 1,603 stones, so two, two stone nodes, uh, one in a, a sesame seed uh, metal node, metal fragments, and then you have one tree. So you're looking at if you upgrade, or if you, I'm sorry, if you round up all of these, you've got, what, two stone nodes, two metal nodes, and one tree for upkeep dirt cheap. And what I really like about this is when you get started, you can do this with like 3,000 stone, 3,000 wood to give you initial protection and then kind of build out from there. I'm a big fan of that because when you're playing unofficial, things get a little crazy. So here's the basic footprint and we'll show you some of the setup here and how I start this uh, wedge bunker base and how you can use this for, again, like a small team. I think you can fit a roughly three sleeping bags in the core. Okay, so since this is a um, I guess you would call this a terrain bunker base. Um, and let me go ahead and show you how this works real quick. So this is the bunker sealed completely. Even if you come over here on the side, you knock out the door, even the wall. This is You're met with a complete stone ceiling. And everything's hard side out, so there's no way to actually soft side any of this. So if you're inside, you spawn inside of the base like a standard bunker base. This is how you open it, like a standard stability bunker. So you delete that, and then the base is completely open. But what's really cool is you have this airlock, so you still got ways to push through. Again, I love the cheap. It's the best. So to seal the bunker again, you create the... What is it? That's uh, not the satchel. The freaking twig floor. Then you go over to the roof triangle, back up into the corner till it's blue, and then upgrade it to the outside frame, and you're good to go. As long as you don't upgrade this, you're good to go. And make sure that you do have your inside sleeping bag. Yeah. Dirt cheap. That's the mechanism. So the reason why this works, let me go ahead and use my admin powers, is this is clipping ever so slightly into the terrain. So that twig is, whoops, this twig right here is not exposed to the outside. You can hit this with anything, flames, uh, AOE stuff, C4, rockets, you name it, explosive rounds. It's not actually going to break the twig on the inside, which is the only thing holding up this corner piece. And that's why this works. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to make a complete box to do it. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the first part of this and how to set up the terrain piece. This is really the only big gotcha for this. So you can literally do this on any slope terrain. I think the biggest piece here is to test out the foundation piece and then uh, test to make sure that all the triangle pieces fit in there. And then you're good to go. Okay, so here's the basic foundation for the check. This is going to be your main bunker area. I kind of like... I walk it into the wall there where you can kind of see the little nubs on top. And then I place, uh, I'm sorry, two off the bottom and then one over here. And then I like to go over to the triangle piece, place that, and place that just to make sure that they're blue. You don't actually have to place it, but this ensures that it's under the terrain. This is the one that you have to worry about. This piece here and this piece have to be completely under. So as long as this is sitting under there and there's nothing sticking out, you're good to go. So as long as you have that check there, you can do this anywhere on the map. So I get started with 3,000 wood, 3,000 stone. I slap up my first foundation, make that stone, go to my wall, 300, 300, 300, which is what, 300 stone, so that's, we're at 900 stone. I do make this frame wood to save. I have a wooden door, double door ready to go. I throw down the uh, key lock if you're rolling solo. Then I place my TC. Uh, knobs facing you, back it to the corner, and then walk it back. This is pretty standard for most setups. Authorize. Pay no attention to my 2 million stacks. As that is how we do it on the computer. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and just <laughs> and bring that over. And we'll just put this over there for now. Because apparently I didn't spawn enough wood for myself. Go me. Do I have stone? I do. Okay. Go, go me. Okay, so now that you have that in here... 
Um, you can place a ceiling tile, but really I think this is safe enough. Go out here, go ahead and place your square tile here. Make this stone. Go to the wall here. Make these two walls stone as well. Don't worry about the ceiling yet. Make this door frame wood. And then if you have a wooden single door ready to go, again, I like it on the cheap. You can have that opening outward because that's going to be part of your airlock. Go ahead and throw down a key lock here. It's very important that you do place a bag here and call it inside. I can't spell. You get it. You get the idea. Now you can start to place the roof tiles. If you can only afford one roof tile, place it here first. Make it stone if you can afford it. Place your extra materials and place it inside of here. And this is your first stage. Let me go ahead and back up. So you've got your twig on the outside. We'll explain that later. But we did test that, so we're good to go in that department. As long as that main piece here, let me go ahead and highlight that, is submerged under the terrain, you're good to go. And so what this does here, this creates a... The reason why we made this wood is because you might want to upgrade this in the future. Um, and what this is doing now is this is creating an airlock so people can't rush in on you. So yes, it's cheap. And no, you do definitely don't want to be signing out with this configuration because you will get raided because it's only wood. But if you're staying around your base long enough, this should afford you enough protection to move on to the next phase. Because I don't know about you, I get about 3,000 wood, 3,000 stone, and then I usually get slept. Okay, so here's the next phase. Let me go ahead and show you this one more time. So we're going to do the outside bunker mechanism. And hopefully you've got enough materials inside the base. But if you don't, at least you're kind of protected. All right, so exiting the door here, I like to make this wood. I like to make that stone, leave this twig, and make that stone. I'm going to make the first airlock here, which is going to be wood. Uh, soft side facing you, and then make another wooden door frame. Go ahead and upgrade that to just wood only. Make this door open towards you with the wood lock. You'll see another, yep, single pass through, so that way people can't rush you. And what's really nice is you have an extra airlock here that makes it even harder for people to actually flame rage you. I like to put a wooden top here. And you'll upgrade that later, but again, don't forget you can actually trade your stone at the outpost for more wood, and you can get a lot more materials that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the bunker mechanism here. So let's go ahead and flip to the triangle roof tile, and then we're going to go to the wall tile here. Make sure the hard side's facing you. Make sure it looks right. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, you know what? We'll actually upgrade this. We'll upgrade that to stone, which is 150. That's going to be 300, and that foundation's going to be... Oh, wait. Did we already get it? Yeah. That's going to be 150. And then over here is probably the most expensive part of the expansion. This is going to cost you, um, complete with this tile and these walls here, which is essentially honeycomb. This is going to cost you 900 stone, but I, I like to say one stone node because uh, if it's 900 to build, then you have 100 for upkeep, so it's kind of nice. So you just say one stone node is going to help you do this uh, honeycomb on the outside here. So as long as you have this, your bunker can operate correctly. So if we go down inside, let's say you have to leave uh, and go somewhere. You can actually seal this bad boy up. Good to go. Look at that. As long as it matches the same material as the outside piece here, um, this roof tile and this roof tile have to be the same material. It doesn't matter if they take out this wood section altogether. They still can't get inside of the bunker. They have to spend the materials to get in, which is 10 satchels. In the very beginning, unless you're really ticking somebody off, you're good to go. But the key here is to make sure that this tile right here always stays twig. Do not upgrade it ever. And you're good to go. So th that's like the first big, big part of, like you can actually leave this base completely like this and the upkeep is like nothing. These are really good farming bases, uh, uh, small bases like this. Let me go ahead and go on the outside here. We'll go ahead and op open up the bunker itself. Dude, you would hit that with like a rock or something. So we're out here. We're just going to create the shelf on the interior. I kind of forgot to do that. And this twig is like, what, 25 a pop or something like that? Leave this here so you can place your shelf on the interior. Kind of doing this in the order. I would technically do this. And then in here, you're going to place your triangle and then go ahead and upgrade that to wood. So for me, I don't have metal fragments usually, so I usually have a couple of these bad boys because I'm poor. Because the whole idea is that you're collecting enough to make your first furnace. But when you do, you can place it on the interior here. Don't forget, this is still wood and so is this frame. 
Uh, so when you do upgrade this later, um, you want to make sure you upgrade the, the frame as well. Don't forget that it's wood. Um, so what's really cool here, yep, is you've got everything you need, and then you can still seal this bad boy up completely. So we're going to go on to the next phase of the expansion, which is creating an airlock for this bunker mechanism. And then let's go ahead and look at the upkeep before we do that. Look at that. Not even a full stone node. So 482 stone, 215. So if you get one stone node and one tree, you have two days worth of upkeep in here. And you've got, like, great protection considering what this is. And if you use this as a farm base, again, farm your materials and just take them home and then seal this bad boy up. We'll show you this, too. Sometimes you can steal one of these, so I like to put it in play. Right? And then if you got some of your boys signing in, you can fit roughly three people in here and then at like another furnace in the back corner if you really wanted to. Because, again, bunkers have to be open from the inside out. What's nice, though, is you can seal this one on the interior. Most bunkers get sealed the other way around. Okay, so here is what the next expansion looks like. Um, just kind of give you a walkthrough. Um, same idea, but we're going to create this airlock section here. And yes, it on purpose it's got wood and stone mixed together because it kind of makes it look like it's not finished or it got raided or the person doesn't know what's going on. But the main piece here is that you have this airlock. You've got two different ways to go outside. Uh, you've got another place to process your materials. And you've got to jump up here to go to your roof tile. Obviously, um, <laughs> garage doors come later. We're not made of money. And, um, yeah, you've, just, you've got a way to seal up your bunker. People don't necessarily know what's going on, and it gives you even more protection. So I really like the fact that we have processing here on the exterior, and then we've got a place to dump materials as you farm. Again, when you sign off and seal the bunker, take all your valuables and stick them in the interior, and then seal the bunker. Take your crappy primitive gear and throw it up in places like here. Right? Because, I mean, who wants to raid for a burlap sack? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what am I saying? Burlap sack? That's Daisy. All right, so let's do the next phase here, which is going to be the airlock and the processing area, which, again, is dirt cheap. I want to say it's like 3,000. I'm sorry, three or 6,000. So that'd be like six stone nodes, something like that. Uh, do we already... We already messed this up, didn't we? No, we didn't. We're good. Okay, so, <laughs> so when the bunker's sealed, you want to have an elevated foundation here. I was like, oh, please, no. we got to start all over. No, we're good. So you're going to place this here. You're gonna actually going to destroy that piece. You're going to make this stone and this. Then you're going to go over to this side, soft side, whoop, soft side facing you, and flick the stone, 300 a piece for the wall. And here, if you can afford it, make this stone. If not, you can just make that frame wood. I do keep these frames wood, and then the triangle piece that goes on top, I do keep as wood. And as you upgrade these doors here, you can, um, to metal, as you start to process them th on your furnace, you can push these doors up to the front and use them for the airlock. Let me go ahead and just kind of show you what this all looks like here. So this would get upgraded to stone. You would put a lock back on there. Boop, 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 boop. I really don't even upgrade this tile down here, to be honest. It's not really, it's not really a thing. And then as you take those other pieces, instead of like throwing them out or recycling them, you can just push them up to the front here. And then if you have enough, you can put a metal door here, but not required. Honestly, if this frames wood, just keep the door wood. But this kind of keeps people off your. Um, off your back a little bit. Okay, so you'll notice here you've got this crazy side piece that people can still rush up on, so it's important to finish this off. But if you are getting pushed a lot, remember, you still have, even if your bunker's open down here, excuse me, let me show you what this looks like, you still have the ability to fall back and you have protection. You have honeycomb, you've got these doors as a single passer. If somebody gets lazy, they still can't enter your base, so you're still protected. So even if you're wide open and somebody rushes you here, you're still good to go. Okay, so um, this isn't terribly expensive. What you want to do here is place a wall here, and this is going to sound crazy, but you want to make this wood because you're going to upgrade and flip this later, but you want the hard side uh, for now facing out. Go ahead and make that stone. Um, get your triangle pieces here. Go ahead. So as you have the two triangle pieces here, you're going to create a half wall here and here, and then go ahead and upgrade these. I upgrade these to wood because it keeps the upkeep cheap. And then over here, you're going to place a stone wall on the exterior. Let me go ahead and just zoom back so you guys can see what that is. I'm going to try to keep it in the same position. You see what all this looks like. 
the I was going to say stone triangles. The wooden triangles that are encased in the stone, that's going to be your drop box. And then under that's going to be your material processing, your furnaces, as you afford them. Okay, so hopefully you've got more of these guys cooking up. So maybe you have one more of these. You start placing them here. Probably when I do that when it's actually done. Maybe I jump again on that. So right here you're going to place a wooden door frame because it might be something you want to upgrade later. Have this open towards you. Lock it. And then make another wooden door frame soft side facing you and then another door that opens away from you so you create that crazy airlock. And yes, this is wide open, but uh, the beauty of this, even if you can't afford the top, is you, you kind of stop this guy from rushing up on you, right? It doesn't, it's not invincible. So two people can uh, head stack and still attack you, but you're still good to go. Okay, let's move forward here. Did I already move my box out of here? I certainly did. Let's go ahead and spawn ourselves some more boxes boxes large boxes we're gonna need those okay so if you've got enough stone you can go ahead oh my goodness you can go ahead and complete this top section here if you don't have a lot of stone you can always make that wood and upgrade it later if you really need to so again this is just to keep people off your back while you're online no big deal and then as long as you're online, you can always process materials in here. But again, if you're going to leave the base for anything longer than like 30 minutes, I would suggest taking your valuables and pushing them on the interior. And then take your primitive stuff, your burlap, your, you know, put it up here. But really, this should be left open for a lot of your, um, you know, you farm, you come back and dump and then go back out kind of thing. So you can go ahead and upgrade that top piece to stone as well. And then we'll just show you that all of this still operates uh, the way it normally would. By the way, if you can handle it without accidentally upgrading it, just leave that twig. It's kind of an easier way to jump up. Again, if you have room for another furnace, go ahead and slap it in the corner. And look, you've got your exterior. You can leave. You're safe. And then you've got your access to the roof, which makes this jammy. And we'll do the next piece, which is your second floor of storage. But a lot of times, again, this can be just enough uh, for what you need to, you know, if this is just a supporting base, if this is on the coast or something to, like, help you farm, you're good. We'll go ahead and show you what this upkeep looks like as well. As a matter of fact, before we do that second floor expansion, we're going to do the protected layer. If you want to upgrade this as far as, like, you know, make it a little beefier. Look at that. 970. That's one stone node, one tree, and a sesame seed worth of metal fragments cooked. You can probably buy that or recycle it. That's easy, right? Cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, so let's do that protected layer before we do that next part of the second story. Let me make sure I got all this. I think I did. And again, just to show you that all this still works. And again, always, always leave that twig and you gotta match it to the one outside and you're good to go. Look at that, boom. Locked up. All right, so the next idea here is to create honeycomb on the exterior because, you know, 10 satchels as the wipe starts to continue gets a little easier to achieve. And you might be ticking off some people. So you can add these four pieces of honeycomb on the exterior to add a lot more protection. I always look at it as, as we said earlier, each of these little triangle pieces are going to cost you about a stone node. So if you gather four stone nodes or 4,000 stone, the standard rates, you should be able to upgrade this all the way to stone for each piece. Yes, you have 100 left over, but, you know, upkeep. So here's the thing. I know we just said we we're going to upgrade this all to stone. But if you've got the wood, it's kind of nice to dress this as um, wood for a little bit. If you can afford it. If you can't, just go all stone. Um, but like right here, we're, we're going to make this one all stone here because this is going to be a jump up. But um, we're going to kind of throw a curveball at you and upgrade this to wood. Here's the, my suggestion. If you make these wood at all, make sure that your foundation is stone. Because if they burn out the bottom, it becomes hard or almost impossible to um, put another foundation down. So This just kind of dresses it a bit more crazy. It looks a little, a little more hodgepodge. And this gives you the protection you definitely need. So, like, you've still got a lot more protection. A lot of people don't want to throw explosives at wood. Oh, you know what? By the way, 
We need to make that stone. <laughs> Oops. That's part of the interior here for the airlock. Definitely didn't want to have that as just wood. Okay. Now by now, now by now, now that you've been cooking your metal for a little bit, you should be able to upgrade these tiles at 100 metal fragments apiece. Now you've got some serious protection on the base. Again, if you don't want to use the wood, if it's in short supply, just make the honeycomb on the exterior all stone instead of wood. But this is going to give you a lot more protection for the base. Then if you have even more metal fragments, I would say upgrade your bunker portion. So you would upgrade this foundation here. 100 metal. This is 200. This is going to be 100. I was like, is there 150? This is going to be 200. And then you can go on the interior. We'll show you what this looks like. And then on our interior here, <laughs> as I just melted through the wall, uh, because this is broken because the outside piece is metal and this procedural corner only matches to the same material. So now, I mean, look at that. We've got some crazy protection. The ceilings, metal, right? The bunker sheet is metal, right? Now you're looking at 23 satchels. And this is before you had that secondary floor. Like, that's crazy. And then we'll show you what the upkeep looks like for that. And again, you can stop at any time. If this is good enough for what you're doing, dude, just keep it this way. Not a big deal. We'll show you what the upkeep looks like downstairs. Again, keeping that metal at the low, low. Look at that, 1,085. That's a stone node and a sesame seed. So if we round it all the way up, that's two stone nodes, one metal node, and one tree. Doable. Now you're like, hey, we need a little bit more storage. I got you. And this actually helps flush out the last bit of this here. All right, so the idea is the jump up's going to be here. Extra processing is built into the honeycomb here, and this is going to be your loot storage for your second floor. Again, keeping low tier stuff. So we'll start with the loot room here in the back. Go ahead and make these stone uh, and that stone. And here, we're going to make that stone. It's important that you flip this. Put your half wall here. Put your full piece here. And I do like to make that wood. That's kind of hot. And again, these are going to be 300 a pop here. This is going to be your extra processing if you've got the materials to do so. If not, you can just make a honeycomb. Not a big deal. Although, you kind of find that having extra processing on a, like a compact base can definitely be your friend. So, if you've got the means, I'd say work it in there. Here's the thing. I know you don't have the B piece for this. That's fine. Go ahead and just craft a wooden one. It's just enough to keep people off your back. So, don't even sweat it. So, again, when you sign out, take all of your valuables out of your processing area and your boxes and the other processing area and put them in your core and then sign out. Don't just leave them because people are going to get them. And then over here, hopefully you've got enough materials and wood to do your boxes. Standard loot room in here. Not a big deal. Right? Two larges. Squeeze a small in there. Boopity boop. And then uh, hopefully you have enough for a double door. I'd say if you have a double door, that means do it for at least that room, <laughs> at the very least. It'll help you out. I don't know why I just put that on there, because I have to put the rest of the boxes. I don't want to make this terribly long, so maybe we just kind of speed up through this. Eh, oh, eh. Lace is out. I'm looking for Dan Marino and a clean pair of pants. All right, and this is going to be our jump up. And again, I like to do it on the cheap and cheap. Surprise, surprise. You can make this slab wood for now. And you can upgrade it later if you want to put a shotgun trap or something under there. Um, but I like to keep this locked off here. We'll make this into uh, stone. And because I don't typically have the materials to go all the way for that, I usually just take like a wood door, if I'm online still, and just slap a lock on it. So you're sliding a lot of these wooden doors all, all over the base. And then I'm a big fan of the fridge. So then you can put that bad boy right here. Get it just away from the door on that wall and then rotate it. It creates an excellent kill funnel for the shotgun trap. I'm just saying, it's hot. You can even put two in there. You know? If you got the means, no big deal. Starting to come together. We'll start to make some other upgrades if you start to get things like the garage door and stuff like that. 
Um, okay, so yeah, this is kind of where it sits. If you have a little bit more money to do the top, by all means you can. Uh, I would make that stone now. I'm going to make a couple final upgrades and then we'll be uh, situated. Oh my goodness, price. If you're having a hard time placing that, just put a triangle twig there and get you all set. Don't forget to put your cap on. Don't put the frame. You do have to have um, at least a metal swing door here because, yeah. I like to swing it out so like you can see if someone's on the shore. You got a bit more protection to work with. But look at that. You got roof access. You've got two doors on the bottom. You got a crazy bunker that's like dirt cheap. Money, dude. The wedge for life. And then um, if you get the roller boys, you can start to install them here uh, as you have the materials. Why? Oh, I messed that up. I didn't place that well enough. Or is it this that's in the way? How could you? It was that. It was 100% that. I didn't need to destroy the fridge. What am I doing with my life? So we'll show you what the upkeep looks like for something like that. And again, if you don't get that reinforced window, not a big deal, dude. Just slap the, slap the wood in there. That is hideous. What is going on, dog? My place. It. You get the idea. This roller boy here, and then uh, some of these wooden frame doorways. You can machete the soft side. No BP is required. Destroy these with the quickness. If you have the roller boys and the means, and you want to take it this far, you totally can. It still makes this base quite manageable as far as cost and upkeep. Go crazy with this. Make that a frame. If you're going to put in a roller boy here, I suggest putting the uh, roller section away from you here, just so it doesn't poke outside here. And then this one, you can put the bulbous end facing you. I know, that's some rich people stuff, right? But eh, you could get to that point. Then you come down here. This is your uh, sealed bunker. And then you just... Hit that twig, you're good to go. Bam. Look at this bad boy. It's dirty, it's cheap, it's functional. You can have multiple of these even if you're a solo. Keeps the cost down, keeps you all over the board. So if a Zerg's work in an area, you can work the map uh, properly in another. And with this kind of upkeep, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this real fast. With this kind of upkeep, I mean, you'd be a fool not to make two of these. Or it at least start with this. Look at that. Two stone nodes, one metal node, and one tree. There you go. That's the wedge. I'd say try it out on your next wipe. The wedge. Bunker base. I'm Jade Monkey. Drop that like. Consider that subscribe. If you like it, 